Whispercast。让你睡觉的时候可以听广播，千万不要开车。对呀、啊、，Definitely don't drive your car whilst listening to this guy. This one is gonna put you to sleep, and, and the point is to help you sleep, perhaps. Also, learn something while you sleep. Yeah, we're gonna be going over a couple of one wow lessons, some culture lessons, and language in Taiwan in this one. Oh. So maybe subconsciously you'll learn a little something, something as we go through. So. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna read you、uh, some little articles in Taiwan and in English, and then we're gonna break the articles down and try to understand what we said and why. Okay. Yeah. 我们来吧 Okay. Let's let's start. So I'm gonna turn the music right down. Yeah. Should I keep it going? Off. Oh, listen. I want to say a few things before we get going. Can you, ma? Can you? So we do free lessons, by the way. Two of them. Oh, and and we're not filming this. So if you're on YouTube watching this, sorry,、uh, we didn't film this one because it's a it's a whisper cast. You're supposed to be sleeping every day. Yes, but we still put the video on the YouTube. Yeah, it's black screen. It's just dark screen. Because then you can just put it by your bed and it disturb your sleep. We're clever like that. That's all me. Okay. Um.、Uh, the next thing is we do do free lessons. By the way,、uh, you let us one, Amy does the other. Um. So you get a mix of accents and speech patterns and all this kind of stuff. And guess what, guys? It's free. You are free. Shh, be a fader. You can you can get it for free, and all you have to do is go to www.mandarinmonkey.com forward slash free lessons, and you can book your lessons directly on that page. It's amazing technology. Hi. What's wrong with your voice? Hi. You know, short on one. Hi, yo, 大家记得。你的外语口语能力，请你们到 description down below 找到 O C T link。除了你会跟 A I 考试口试以外，对，你还可以拿到国家孔子学院的证书。对 ，the Confucius Institute certification from O C T can help you find a job if you want one, and it certifies your level of Chinese spoken abilities. So you can jump online and do it. It's all AI based. It's, it's a little bit fun. So go do that in the description below.、Um, other than that, if you like what we do, come support us, dudes. We have a Patreon. It's Patreon. P A T R E O N dot com forward slash Mandarin Monkey. That's what keeps the lights on. That's what keeps us doing what we do. That and passion. Thank you. Thanks to all the patrons, our current patrons, we super appreciate it. Okay, now the gain of the microphone is turned right up, so you're probably going to hear a few things. Hopefully, the trash truck and whatnot doesn't come past. If it does, sorry, sorry to your sleepy sleeps. Need to say that. Okay, so Julia's going to read the first one, and it completely don't work. Then I'm going to do the English version. And we're going to talk about the language. So hold on. Ready, sweeps. Hello. Okay, let's do this. Let's make this dream come true. 第一个中国文化，我们要讲的是中国人对年龄的询问方式。Ways of asking a Chinese person age. 在中国传统。In traditional Chinese, I thought you were going to read the whole thing in Taiwan, and then I was going to read it. And then we're going to do it one by one. 
Oh, you want to do sentence by sentence? Okay. Jaya. In traditional Chinese culture, age isn't considered privacy. It's a, it's a topic often brought up in social situations. Nevertheless, different ways are employed to ask the age of different people. For kids younger than for kids younger than 10. People ask, How old are you? For a young person or someone of one's own age, one may ask, How old are you? For an elder person, Okay, so for an older person, however, one should use What's your age to show respect? Okay, so let's go back to the beginning. Yeah. Okay, in traditional Chinese culture, so in traditional was traditional. Chinese culture. Okay. So what's traditional again? One thing it's quite difficult to do with whispers is get the tonality correct. I think you can still kind of hear it, but for, for untrained ears, it would be very difficult. To figure out what you're actually saying there. Chuan Tong. Chuan Tong. Chuan Tong. So when you fall asleep, listen to Chuan Tong. Traditional Chinese Tong Guo Wan Wama. So if you were to say Taiwanese culture, Tong Guo Wan That's China. That's that's Chinese. What about Taiwan? Taiwanese? Taiwan. Yeah. Taiwan. That's Taiwanese culture. It's a traditional Taiwanese. Taiwan. Oh, that's so exciting. Do you think people are falling asleep yet? Yes. Really? Are you falling asleep? A little bit. We can have a conversation too, you know. Don't just have to do this. Oh. Yeah, you can do that. It's okay. Make sure. Oh, okay. Okay. You want to keep going? Yes.
你几岁？我还是上次少女病。他们不会觉得无力。你，我不会，不会吗？我觉得年纪小的不觉得。
场所 social occasion， 对啊，还有最近的 trending ones is social distance， 社交距离，社交距离，对，社交距离，社交距离 ，that is social distance。It's very topical right now because of the being do well. Sort of, there's lots of people not doing it now. So, so, distance, yes, distance is distance. Okay. How? So, this is a common, frequent, frequent question. So, it's. Getting hot now. Yes. Starting to sweat a little bit. It's warm. Yeah, not the pump. Can I tell you something? Okay. Do you think what we're talking about will go into their dreams? Maybe. Do you think? Why? Oh, that'll be good. So maybe at about thirty minutes, we should start talking about. Goblins, or something more far, like a bit magical, so they can have some fun dreams. I think they have fallen asleep. Get them up because you read five minutes book and then you fell asleep every time. Oh. Yes. What? Yeah, your bedtime story. Which one? I don't know. You mean the book? Audio book.
it's say what a shanti name yet and tie out like yeah Stuff. He makes it boring enough for you to want to live. 
to, to want to listen or not want to listen, but interesting enough for you to not want to turn it off. Okay. It's a skill. I'm not good at this skill. It's because of your mindset. <laughs> you can be good at anything. Do you like it? Is you want that? Do I like doing the whisper challenge? To go. This whisper thing. I'm a loud person. Oh, yes, sir. I like to be louder than this, but we said we'd do it. We only have to do it once. I'll do. Um, the next one can be super loud. We could finish this one and then do a normal one next time. Oh. Next time. We got, we're doing a super psychic and, and an exciting thing next time. Of course. Okay. Aren't we? I didn't know. That. What? We're doing our course. Oh, oh, after this. Yeah. Yeah, okay. The heat is slowing my brain down. Oh, I know. It's getting hot. It's melting me too. We didn't buy a drink. So we on my um, pink the email. Yeah, dance. It felt went well. That's what What you need? You got some yao there. You can drink that. Chuck. 
called compound character surnames. Piu, Ouyang, Shangguan, Zhuge. Such as Ouyang, Shangguan, and Zhuge. A person can be addressed with his or her family name, followed by his or her job or profession. For instance, Liu Di Yuan Xing Li Shi Lao Shi. For instance, is a teacher. Literally, are we so we can call her Li Lao Shi. Literally, teacher Li. Wang Fang Xing Wang Shi Yi Shen. While Wang Fang is a doctor. We can call her Wang Yi Shi. Literally, Dr. Wang. Okay, that was good. Okay, how? Okay, so let me just tell you about. Let's talk a little bit about what you think the most common surnames are in Taiwan. Yes. Okay. Wang. Yes. What does what does Xing? But I think they already know. But, but they might have. I can't remember. 
Is it on your Facebook? No. Really? Oh, Stupid. So replying to them. Yeah, because. 
Because you know they are stupid. Yeah. They have problems. <laughs> so why bother? So that's like negative comments online, right? Oh, do you? So, so that's why we don't reply to them. No, we don't. Because it's more dumb to reply to negativity. But we do thank them to listen to us. <laughs> I know. Thanks for listening. <laughs> okay. Common communication. Phone number. 
nothing to do with China, Taiwan. Okay. I've never heard that used. No, this is Zhong Quarter. Yeah, I understand what you said, but I'm just saying I've never, I've never. If someone goes, uh, Ling Yao, Papa, I've never heard that's interesting. I do like in Taiwan. Yeah. You, you have. Be 
behind a curtain. And he put it all up his back. It wasn't a fun time for anyone. That's how it shouted. But you can't complain. No, I didn't. No complaining. I gagged. So if I kick you in the shin, be up by it. I will put my fingers up to your nose. <laughs> yeah, but I can't complain either. No. So for a month. No. But then I'm going to break your leg. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, listen, this is not relaxing, is it, for them? Maybe, maybe they're asleep. If you are asleep, have great, have great dreams. Listen. Woman